Hi everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to review this Cuisinart ice cream maker. It is a two-quart ice cream maker. Let's open it up and see how it looks inside. And of course, it comes with an instructional guide book. Packaged pretty nice. Here is the top. And this is the internal part. This is the part that's going to make the ice cream nice and cold as we churn it. It has a liquid in there. We do have to freeze this first. I'm going to double check the directions, but I believe it's 12 hours. Okay, so the freezing time for the bowl, they say between 6 hours and 22 hours, so 12 hours should be plenty. And of course, we have the base part of our machine. This part has all the controls on there. Now this model comes in a couple different colors. I got the red and stainless steel. Now what we're going to do is make an ice cream recipe. They have plenty of ice cream recipes in this Cuisinart instruction pamphlet. So we're going to make the vanilla ice cream from the pamphlet. I already have a large bowl here. I put one and a half cups of whole milk in there. Now we're going to add one and an eighth of a cup of sugar and then three cups of heavy whipping cream. and just one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. You can use a hand mixer. We just want to mix this until all that sugar is dissolved. Now we're going to come back to our ice cream machine, plug it in, and we have our inner tub that was in the freezer overnight. Put that in there. And we have our agitator, I guess it's called. Put that in there. Put your top on. I'm going to turn the ice cream maker on and I have put my ice cream mix into a bowl that has a pour spout just to make things a little easier. Let's turn it on and pour it in. Now according to the directions it should take 20 to 25 minutes for us to have the perfect ice cream consistency. After about 15 minutes, you can see the consistency is looking good. Another five more minutes and it'll be perfect. Now that's done, we're gonna take off the top. You can see the consistency is really nice. Here's my tiny spoon, soft serve ice cream. I'm gonna give it a try right now. This is really good, I like this. You can put the rest into a freezer safe dish and keep it in your freezer and dish it up just like you would any other ice cream. Okay, we're just going to dish out the ice cream, put it in there. And surprisingly, it holds most of that two quart ice cream in this long, narrow uh, container. It surprised me. I didn't think it would hold all of it, but uh, there's only a little bit left in my other container. And we'll just put our top on, snap it in place and put this in the freezer. So I had my ice cream in the freezer for a couple days. Let's open it up, take a look. Now I'm just going to scoop some out and put it in a bowl. Tiny spoon. Our ice cream machine made really good ice cream. About 25 minutes is the perfect time I found. Uh, that vanilla ice cream was amazing. Now the best part about using the ice cream maker is that you can either eat it as soon as it's done churning or you can put it in the freezer and eat it later as I'm doing right now. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button and check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time.